How you doing guys? It's Jose here again and I'm here with another chainsaw review but this time it's special because this is the first steel saw that I'm reviewing and uh, there are more to come. This is the first steel saw that I'm reviewing so far. I've only reviewed Husqvarna and this one is their top of the line arborist saw. So their climbing saw. This is the top of the line one. This is the MS-201T. Now they've came out with the uh, 201 TCM which uses you know the solenoids and it has an electronic carburetor so it automatically adjusts this one however is the older version so it still has the uh, manually adjusted carburetor with your low your high and then your uh, idle so you can still do that by hand uh, these are probably steel climb saws are probably the most you know predominantly used ones Husqvarna comes in second I believe just because they uh only have the T540 and I believe the uh, T435, but uh, these saws are used more often by more arborists and that's probably because the great success that the uh, MS200T had. So these saws are definitely uh, very common and a lot of people prefer to use these over the Husqvarna's. Again, that's operator preference. They're both great saws, but uh, you definitely see more of these uh, this saw we've had for a uh, long time, a couple of years now. It definitely has a few tanks of gas through it and everything. It's well broken and you can see uh, we've had more. We just have one of these right now, but we've had a few. This one, uh, we've had a few of them get ran over and uh, dropped out of trees and stuff like that. You know how tree work is. These saws need to be made extremely tough so they can stand up to it. And then even then, sometimes it's not enough. Stuff will happen and people aren't paying attention and things break. But... These saws are overall great saws. I prefer to climb with this one personally. Uh, my father for, prefers the T540, like I said in the other video. The only reason I like this one better is it doesn't have the electronic carb, so it's just good to go at all times. And this saw has steel's operator lever, so it's just you can use one hand to completely control the saw all the way back is full choke, push it forward. That's your half choke, and then click the throttle, and that's your normal run setting. And to shut it off, you just push that lever forward, and the saw is completely off. This saw, uh, like most of Steel's professional saws, if not all of them, it has their quick flip fuel cap saw. Just a simple quarter turn, and then it comes straight up. And then back in, close it like that. Uh, I prefer the Husqvarna fuel caps over the steels, their quick flips, and even just their old ones because sometimes the new guys don't understand how to operate these and you can get covered in gas. Uh, this saw has anti-vibration springs. It's different than uh, the 200T used rubber grommets, so they switched over to uh, what a more Husqvarna style and they use the springs. They have one here, one in the front, and then one in the back back here. So you can see you play right here, so the saw doesn't vibrate you to bits and your joints will last a little bit longer even though my father was complaining that his arm hurt when he runs this saw and that's why he switched to the T540 and now he's not having arm pain so if that's something that might be a consideration for you watch out about that I know a lot of people use these but according to him when he used this saw and I've even heard his elbow pop in things when he bends it and then when he switched over the T540, which I have on the bench over there, his arm pain went away. So that's something to, if you're, to be conscious of if you're going to purchase a climb saw and you're worried about possibly future joint you know, damage and stuff like that. Uh, this saw also features steel's elasto start. So you can see here that uh, if you hit it on a compression stroke and your pull cord doesn't move, this will pull right here because it has a spring internally, so you're not yanking your arm out even though it's really on a saw that's only 35.2 cc's, it's not a big deal. Uh, this saw also makes uh, 2.4 horsepower and it weighs 8.16 pounds. So it's got a good power to weight ratio and these saws are definitely, uh, I highly recommend them even though with the joint pain and stuff like that, uh, it's still a great saw. They uh, easily run 16 inch bars, I'm pretty sure this is what they come with, and then you can, if you go to your dealer, you can get a 14 or a 12 inch, but I guess it's better, in my opinion, to have the extra 2 inches, because when you're doing removals, it definitely, those 2 inches can make a difference, and then even for reach on a branch, this allows you just, you don't have to reach out as far. 
So that's my personal opinion on that. Uh, this saw also has just like the uh, 200T, it's quick access. You can use your scrunch in the slot right here, and then this one you can just turn by hand. And then with the old 200Ts, you could just use your thumb and turn it. Same thing as the 200T, except a little bit different design. It has a felt air filter, and then uh, underneath the car or underneath this plate here, you just have the carburetor and everything like that. Here's the uh, anti-vibration rubber grommet right here. And then uh, this is a scavenging engine. It's not a stratified engine, but it is scavenging, so uh, it gets better fuel economy. If you want to put it that way, a tank lasts longer than a uh, in the MS200T. I have one, and then uh, we were running it the other day, and it kept running out of fuel pretty quickly when we were doing a large locust tree removal, so he just switched over to this one. And uh, this is a great saw. We can get it open right here, and I can show you the inside. Now, because of the design of them to keep the saws sleek, steel, this is one of the saws that steel uses an outboard clutch on. Uh, the 200T also used an outboard clutch, and the 201 uh, TCM also uses an outboard clutch. Uh, you can see here, here's the uh, clutch brake band, so when it kicks back, it'll grab the clutch like that, and then to release it, you just pull back on it. This saw does feature captive bar nuts, so you don't lose them if you're ever up in the tree and maybe you have to tighten up the chain and you take off the nut a little too far it's not going to fall to the ground or just even in the grass or anything like that it does have a side chain tensioner and it's not in the uh side plate but it's actually in the uh case of the saw itself so that's a nice design so you can put the bar and chain on tighten it and then just slap this back on uh the saws have a cold weather shutter so if you are in a an area with a climate that does get below 32 degrees, like I am here in Michigan, uh, you can just flip this right here, and I just flipped it to the summer, and then I'll flip it back to the cold weather, and it's definitely takes some adjustment away from the carb and lets it run, you know, lets it run better, and you won't have to adjust your carb for the winter. I'm running on this saw steels uh Full chisel, 3 8 micro chain. It's off 55 drive links on this one. And uh, this chain's pretty aggressive, but it runs it just fine. I like it better than the semi chisel because you get a little bit faster cut. And uh, the top plates are pretty long, so you it lasts a long time between sharpenings. I uh, put a Sugihara bar on this because I, they've had really good reviews, so I ordered one from uh, Tree Stuff. And uh, like I said, this is a 16 inch. And it's great, it's really light, and the bar rails are really hard, so you can, I don't know if you can see, but I haven't had to file it at all, and it's not, you know, peeling over or anything like that. As I was saying with the saw here, it has an outboard clutch, and steel conveniently puts a nut right here, so you can use an air impact gun, and you can just take it off real fast to service the bearing on the inside, clean out the clutch, and do all your tasks that you need to. Uh, it has wear plates right here, so you're not catching the side with the chain, and you can switch these out. Uh, chain catch right here just in case a chain breaks. And then uh, you have right here dog teeth, you know, so you can get a little bit more leverage in the cut. You have good access to your spark plug right here just in case you ever need to change it. Here's your uh, spark arrestor. Uh, these mufflers are really restricted, but we leave all our chainsaws stock. We don't do any portering or anything like that. We even leave the spark arrestor in, but... Uh, Make sure you keep the spark arrestor clean so the saw runs properly. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people do mob these saws. And I mean, if you are if you do that and you're into that, that's a good thing because I know the saws can make a lot more power that way. Because it is a uh, climber saw, it does have a D-ring attachment for your lanyard right here. That way you can hang it from your harness like this so you won't have any issues. Like I said before, these saws are, uh, I highly recommend it. I think they run great. I personally like it more than the 200T because it doesn't run out of gas as fast. And if you're doing big removals, that's a big time saver instead of having to send your saw down on your climb line and have your ground guys, you know, refill it up for you. And then, like I mentioned earlier, if you have someone new that day, put gas in it. Heaven forbid, you know, they uh, don't put the caps on correctly and then you have to, you get it all over you and you have to send it down again and that's just a mess. So... It's good on gas. Uh, it's better than the 200T, and like I was saying, overall, you know, this is a, uh, it's a great saw. This and the Husqvarna T540, I highly recommend, and uh, definitely if you're going to buy a climb saw, choose one of the two, and uh, 
whatever your best dealer is in the area, definitely go with that because you know a good servicing dealer overall is what you need. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll uh, respond to them. And uh, what I'm going to do is attach a uh, clip here of it cutting so you can see how the saw cuts. And uh, thank you very much and have a great day.